Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a really basic toggle for on and off onto your avatar for VR chat. So for this example, we have uh, this Azil here, this little guy, and I have a cube on his head. Don't ask me why, because I'm not going to tell you, it's a secret, but we want the cube to be toggable. So how do we do this? So we go to our avatar, we click here, uh, then we scroll down in the avatar descriptor, really down. And we're going to be working with playable, la playable layers and expressions. So in case you don't have anything here, you have to click customize. And you have to do the same here if you don't have anything here. And we have to create a param some parameters. You have to create a menu or an option in a menu. And a function in the FX layer. So first we're going to do parameters. I'm just going to go here and create a new folder. So we have uh, everything in one folder for this example. Toggle tutorial. You can have the file files anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we need parameters. So we click, right click, uh, create, VR chat, avatars, parameters. And this is if you don't have anything there already. Uh, if you do, you only edit what you see in your avatar. So I have this created newly and we're going to add a parameter. We're going to change it into bool and I'm going to name it cube toggle. You can name it whatever, whatever you want, but you need to uh, rem uh, remember it. Uh, I'm going to tell you why a bit later. Why do we choose Boolean? Boolean is essentially yes, no, zero, one type of a variable that we can use. It only takes one memory uh, because if we would use INT or float, that's eight pieces of memory, and it's unnecessary for an on and off toggle. So we just to keep it really simple, we use the Boolean. It's perfect for this use, actually. So now we have a parameter. Uh, we're going to drag the parameter file into the expressions. The next, we're going to make a menu. Uh, we also go again, create VR chat avatars expressions menu. I'm going to name it um, toggle menu. And we're gonna add control and we're gonna name it uh, cube toggle we're gonna change it to toggle and parameter we're gonna choose the cube toggle and if this doesn't allow you to choose your toggle or it gives you errors and such you go up here and you select acti uh, active avatar and you select the one that you want this function to be done on do on because sometimes VRChat like mixes different avatars in these menus and such. So you need to make sure you have the correct one selected when you're changing this. So I go back to my avatar now. I uh, scroll down in the descriptor again and I put in the menu like this. And now we need an FX layer. Uh, so for this, we're going to click right click again. We create a new file and we create uh, Animator controller, I'm going to name it FX talk for toggle. There we go. And we're going to go back into the avatar again. And we're going to click the FX and put in the FX. You can drag it like I am dragging it, but you can also click this little uh, circle thing and you just find it here, whatever you want, really. I I'm just used to dragging stuff. So that's, you know, for me. And now we need to... Um, we need to make animations, two animations, one for the cube being on and one for the cube being off. And for that, I'm going to select my avatar. I'm going to push, push control D to make a duplicate. Just going to drag the duplicate a little bit to the right. And we're going to make an animation on the duplicate uh, because I don't want him to be stuck in the motorcycle pose. I'm going to show you that in a minute why we, why we do this. So now we're going to create an animation. The animation is, oh, actually, if you don't see these options, like these little windows, just go to window, animation, and you're going to need the animation and animator tab. And the thing is, you can just click and drag these windows whenever you want and position them. However you want your work, workplace to look like. So now I'm going to create the animation. I'm going to name it toggle cube on and 
I have to I have my avatar selected and I'm gonna just click the record record button. I'm gonna go into my cube and I'm gonna disable it like this and enable it and you see it is recorded an animation of one frame that literally just turns the cube on and that's what we need here so it's really simple I'm, con I'm gonna control C this thing so I don't have to do it again I'm gonna create another animation which is gonna be toggle cube off I'm gonna control V so I'm just copy pasting basically and for this I'm gonna uncheck so it's gonna be off. I can preview this thing and I can see the cube is gone. So that's what we want. And the animations are done. We only need two here. It's pretty simple. So I go back to my avatar again and I go to the FX layer. I double click it. And in my animator, I can see the actual layer. So the first thing we need to do here is to add a parameter. It's gonna be the Boolean that we created first. So I'm gonna click bool, uh, cube toggle which is the name of the parameter we put in the parameters. I go to layers and I add a new layer, which is gonna be, you know, cube toggle. And this is very important. Click the cog wheel and set the weight to one. If you don't, if you're not gonna do that, nothing's gonna be happening in VR, you're not gonna see anything, even though you did everything else right. So this is like a really beginner mistake to forget it. So don't uh, forget to do your weight one. And now we gonna uh, select our animations. I'm gonna click left click so I, I mean, control left click to the other one so I select two at the same time and drag them here. I scroll in a little bit and I position these animations. And now I need to basically, you know, program how I want VRChat to handle these animations. So we start at entry and it goes to off. And let's say I want my toggle to be on by default. So I'm just gonna right click and set as layer default state. So this is basically the default that Unity uses as default. Now I'm gonna click it again and I'm gonna connect it to the toggle off and I'm gonna connect toggle off to on back and forth so they like switch between each other and I'm gonna do that by right clicking, make transition. I'm just gonna click on this one. I'm gonna do the same thing here, click. And now I need to tell it when to transit between these states, right? Between on and off. So I left click the uh, arrow on the left and I put it a condition. Condition means when or why it should like transition, right? From the first one to the second one. So I want it to go to off when cube toggle is false, means off. And for a toggle, I, I don't want to exit time. So I un uncheck this. I want it to be instantaneous, basically. Uh, and I click the other one and I do the same thing. I just leave it as true, like the opposite. I also unclick exit time. And that's what it is. I think this is literally everyone, everything we need for a basic toggle. What do you wanna do as well? Uh, you go to your parameters here again and you can change the default. So I want my queue to be on by default. So I'm just going to click true. And this is, for example, if you, in your game, reset your avatar, these settings is what is going to be, the avatar is going to be reset to, right? So I want a default cube on. So that's what I did here. And if you download the glorious Liuma avatar free emulator, which is completely optional, you can test this in Unity. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, you can see I have it installed here. So I'm just gonna test it. I'm gonna show you how the toggle works in Unity, which means it should work in the game itself. So uh, he's here, I'm gonna click him. I'm gonna uh, toggle the cube and it works. Works pretty well. So this is pretty much how you do a basic toggle. It's super easy. It looks complicated at first, but you know, you're gonna do this 10 times, you're gonna remember it like nothing. So uh, yeah, that's it. Take care and I'll see you uh, in the next video.